of myself and on behalf of my colleagues, friends, and workers of this country, uh, I want to thank uh, the announcement and I want also to thank uh, the government of Kenya uh, under the leadership of President uh, William Samuel Ruto, which uh, has made it possible for the former Prime Minister uh, to contest and run for the continental uh, highest position uh, uh, in Africa. And uh, I know for sure Raila Molodinga is up to the task. He can do the job. He has been tested. He understands the political, social, and economic dynamics of our country. He understands our boundaries. He understands our political differences uh, from different nationalities and from different nations uh, uh, under our continent of Africa. And I'm sure he will be able to settle a lot of problems facing this continent. One of the worst area on our continent right now is in Congo DRC, where people have got to agree and uh, make sure because Congo is close to us, if there is a problem there, it affects us. The other place is to make sure that we have political stability in uh, Somalia and also in Ethiopia. Uh, when our neighbors are happy, uh, uh, Kenya, we are safe. When they have problems, Kenya, we have a big problem. And I'm sure Raila Molodinga will be able to do a good job. And this is what we were uh, hoping for. And therefore, I want to thank uh, uh, most sincerely the government of Kenya, uh, which will uh, front Raila Molodinga as a candidate in Addis Ababa. Uh, uh, his announcement, I'm sure, so many uh, people have called me uh, supporting it. Those uh, who know him very well that he can be able to do a good job have been calling me and I've said that's why I'm prompted to issue this statement to tell Kenyans that we support it, we are behind him and we are behind the government's initiative to make sure that uh, they roll out um, a, a, a campaign flood to make sure that Raila assumes uh, the continental leadership without uh, any hinge or without any hesitation. He's a capable person. He's a person that people admire. He understands at one time he had to go to Ivory Coast to make sure that there was peace in that country when he was in charge of continental projects under African Union. I, being a member of the African, uh, of, of Labor and Social Affairs Commission of, 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 of African Union, I'm happy because he will be my boss at the African Union and where my organization of African Trade Union Unity is affiliated. And it will be easier for me to move to his office and communicate and strengthen the continental labor movement under the leadership of Raila Molodinga at Addis Ababa and uh, as a man who will be in charge of the African Union. We support it. It is far much better than doing local politics, which uh, he has done for so many years, and he will continue doing it. That does not deter him after his term uh, uh, coming back and advising or taking part in our own national politics. But that place, to, he will be useful for us in terms of infrastructure, in terms of funding Kenya's programs, in terms of strengthening our civil service in Kenya, and in terms of making sure that other areas of our needs are internationalized through his office in Addis Ababa. So some of us who have been in international circles, who have international jobs, who have international positions, we know that uh, we will be safe with him at Addis Ababa. And I want to support, I want once again, again, and again, I want to support His Excellency uh, President William Samuel Ruto, who has uh, made it possible for him to announce his candidature. 
Otherwise, without the support of your national government, it cannot be easy for you to run for that particular uh, COVID, uh, coveted position of, uh, uh, of, of taking continental mandals and leadership uh, at this time. I know if there will be anybody else, we, 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 I know uh, his capability and his fame and his friends, some of them who are sitting presidents on this continent. If somebody fight against Raila, will not be able to defeat him. He will be uh, uh, unanimously, if not um, uh, con con uh, by contesting and by other uh, related contestations, he will be, I know I'm sure, he will be unanimously elected uh, in that particular position of our need. I say so because, and I repeat, uh, the organization of the African Trade Union Unity is uh, African Union's ag uh, agency, is part of the agencies of the African Union, and that is the organization that I lead. So in my capacity as the president of organization of African Trade Union Unity, I speak for 54 African countries. I want to assure Raila Molodinga of our undeservedly support in that particular position he's vying for. I want to thank the Kenya government for having decided uh, uh, to back him and to make uh, each and everything possible for him in Hatsababa and to make sure that the, camp the ongoing campaign is going on smooth. And I want also to thank the retired president of Nigeria, Olse Bakun Obasanjo, Olse Bakun Obasanjo, who has also thrown his weight behind Raila. He's an influential African elder. He's an influential uh, 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 person on this continent. And I know he will do everything possible to make sure that we receive uh, Raila Molodinga at Jomo Kenyatta Airport as a, a continental uh, leader who will be able to be in, who will be in charge of all issues concerning this uh, uh, continent, uh, more so the economic development of our continent and financial arrangements, international financial arrangements that uh, uh, Dr. Uh, William Samuel Ruto has been talking about all the time. Uh, in international forums, that the interna international financial systems uh, need some reorganization to fit into wh what our continent uh, requires. And that is indeed, it is true. Uh, for example, I said that the devaluation of Kenya's shilling did not match, did not reflect the economic activities on the ground. And that was the truth. It should go back down where it was because we have huge untapped and unmonitored investments uh, in our informal sector. Our informal sector drives economically the formal sector. So uh, there is no need of devaluing Kenya's shilling. There is no need of hiking or, uh, uh, or, or, uh, or decorating uh, Kenya wrongly uh, and putting us in a place where people are crying on daily basis because of cost of living, which we can tame by making sure that there are no more devaluations of our shilling. We strengthen our shilling, and that can be easily done by our central bank and our treasury uh, uh, ministry to make sure that our shilling is firm. And with Raila at the helm, uh, together with uh, uh, President William Samuel Ruto, it will be easier, more easier to see our economy growing faster and attracting more both direct and indirect investment in this country. So we support the candidature of Raila Molodinga at the helm of our continent. And as an influential person with a lot of friends from north to south, we will be able to make a lot of uh, uh, changes that will be felt internationally up to the United Nations with his leadership on the continent. He understands our problems, socially, economically, and politically. And those differences that most of which are facing our people, I'm sure he will be able to resolve them. And even those ones that are outside, like uh, between Russia and Ukraine, he will be able to immensely contribute uh, under the banner of the African Union. 
equally the problems in Gaza, he will be able also to assist in negotiations to make sure that there is peace in that uh, area of Middle East and there is peace in the world. So this is a viable, a right candidate. And I want to thank the government of Kenya. I want to thank the leadership of President William Samuel Ruto to have decided to throw his weight behind Raila Molodinga. This will bring not only peace in this country, but peace on the continent of Africa. And peace on the continent of Africa is a global peace that the world requires. So those people 